in the Division of Pharmacology at Utrecht University, over 100 immunopharmacologists share a dream to understand, prevent, and cure chronic immune-mediated inflammatory diseases. To follow up on their scientific interests, the immunopharmacologists zoom into the resilience of our immune system. More specifically, they focus on the influence of the exposome, the sum of all environmental factors a human is exposed to during his or her lifetime. The exposome includes pathogens for which our skin, respiratory system, and digestive tract form a first line of defense. It also includes the effects of stress, eating and drinking habits, exposure to pollution, <coughs> as well as many other lifestyle factors. Because of its adaptive and sensing nature, the immune system is also called our sixth sense. The gastrointestinal tract is very important in keeping our sixth sense healthy and resilient. In fact, 70% of all immune cells take up residence in our gut, which houses more than 100 million neurons and 100 trillion bacteria known as gut microbiota that interact with each other. The microbiota in the gut are the pharma factories of our body. Microbiota digest the nutrients in food into substances, which can build or break the mucosal barriers, and therefore our health. For example, when the number of Prevotella bacteria decreases, so do the building blocks of the mucin layer, rendering it more susceptible to becoming leaky and cause health problems. In a leaky gut, bacteria and their products, such as lipopolysaccharides, end up on the wrong side of the protective barrier and enter systemic circulation. This may lead to low-grade chronic inflammation in all parts of the body, including the cardiovascular system, respiratory tract, and the brain, which in turn may lead to chronic immune-mediated inflammatory disorders, such as gastrointestinal diseases, lung diseases, cardiovascular conditions, allergies and metabolic diseases like diabetes, brain disorders, and more. While we all need beneficial microbiota and a balanced immune system to protect ourselves, people with chronic inflammatory disorders often favor pro-inflammatory over anti-inflammatory bacteria and inflammation processes derail. To better understand how to promote immune fitness, the immunopharmacologists at the Utrecht Institute for Pharmaceutical Sciences perform translational research. Investigations on a molecular level are supported by studying cell cultures, three-dimensional mini-organs called organoids, performing in vivo experiments with lab animals, setting up proof-of-concept studies with healthy volunteers and patients, and making sense of big data to uncover new connections and leads. To clearly visualize steps in the process of translational research, let's zoom into some examples. Here we see how human gastrointestinal cells are used to grow three-dimensional mini-guts in situ. We see how analyzing blood cells translates into insights gained from big data, data which the immunopharmacologists at Utrecht University share with researchers worldwide and which are combined with data sets provided by others. A third example is a toll-like receptor knockout mouse showing decreased neurodegeneration, which is associated with intestinal inflammation, an insight which could provide a promising therapeutic target to be tested in humans. A final example shows how the resilience of the immune system can be strengthened with food as pharma. Dietary ingredients which have proven beneficial in mice are tested in small-scale studies with healthy participants and patients at all stages of life. In short, the immunopharmacologists at Utrecht University appreciate that the immune system isn't organized in isolation and therefore study its resilience from all angles by using translational methods. Their mission is to pinpoint ways to strengthen immune fitness and resilience and to translate science into health benefits. <laughs>